Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another special movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be re watching Inglorious Bastards. I'm excited to kind of finally jumping into Quentin Tarantino's work. Um, it's been years since I've revisited uh, a good bit of his work. I think, obviously, the recent one being Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, being my uh, latest quentin tarantino film that i've watched but other than that uh, it's been a good couple of years if not more than that since i've seen *Inglorious bastards even more with like pulp fiction and reservoir dogs and um kill bill there's there's a lot of quentin tarantino films that i would love to re-watch and to you know go back in now that i'm older and i'm uh wiser than before i've gained more knowledge in filmmaking and i have more experience within the field to actually you know go back and learn some new th new things from you know these bodies of work from uh you know people who are extremely uh creative in the field of filmmaking and i don't know i think it'd be a great way to just provide additional commentary as well as um you know i would hope to inspire a lot of you guys of the filmmaking behind certain sequences and you know at the very least give forth a greater appreciation towards you know uh, bodies of work and just film in general uh, so i think that if all of those are checked off then this is this is this is a good time we're off on a good step so yeah i'm excited to kind of do this and jump into this uh quentin tarantino is you know beyond exceptional when it comes to just uh, uh creating an immersive environment and having a story that uh, you can truly get lost in and a lot of filmmakers are able to do that but I think Quentin Tarantino has a specialty when it comes to his characters doing that whereas a lot of people would use the environment they would use maybe music they would use the camera um, I think Quentin Tarantino is in a league of his own when it comes to uh, character immersion immersion I guess you could say so yeah I'm excited to kind of like you know look further into that and also analyze and appreciate other things while also getting lost in the sauce and enjoying my time as we hop right into Inglorious Bastards but as always guys before we get started I just want to say thank you all for the support thank you guys for the support on Patreon and um, the you know YouTube itself I think that is so awesome and again if you want to be able to help your boy out you can go to the Patreon you can leave a like comment and subscribe or at the very least you can just just chill out as we finally hop right into Inglorious Bastards. Again, guys, this is a rewatch, so you know, I'm not gonna keep everything in here. So if you want to be able to watch all that I have to say truly, um, because this will probably have a little bit more commentary, uh, then definitely check out the Patreon link below for the full length, okay? My goodness, man. These shots are um, beautiful. <laughs> These shots are extremely beautiful. Wow. Such a great way to build up the next scene that's about to come forth. I don't know. It's just interesting. The way that uh, the music is going along with this scene, it almost feels like a, a false hero journey for this guy. Considering of what happens, you know, but then, you know, the reality of it hits. Well, I'm very familiar with you and your family i have no way of knowing if you are familiar with who i am and i love that like despite his language switch up it still carries the same energy as before to carry out in france that's really cool like nothing changed his delivery is still the very same cold calculated only rumors i love rumors facts can be so misleading <laughs> He's great. Oh, man. I, I I knew that he was incredible. But, man, like watching this again and really seeing the little mannerisms that he's doing, just even the the the, the just the relaxation he's putting on his face. But his eyes are still super sharp and locked. They're like shark eyes. Where I go, could I have another glass of your delicious milk? Well, of course. Ah, wow. The lighting in this film already, even though it doesn't seem to be like, you know, like the practical lighting, it seems to be very theatrical, which makes sense for someone like Quentin Tarantino. A lot of his framings could be metaphorical statements in itself, and the lighting can help key certain important 
aspects or bring forth some. Consider for a moment the world a rat lives in. It's a hostile world indeed. Right here, we're getting the whole ideology of what he believes in, his actions, his reasonings, which is important to any character and gives us a nice template as to why he's doing things that he's doing it. So the unique things that he does, now we can understand it, you know, whereas other people, they would be like, well, why are they doing that? Wow. Wow. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? The, sh the subtlety of his face movement, dude, like, that was crazy. It was very si it was very slight, but you could just see the transition. Point out to me the areas where they're hiding. Mm. Quentin Tarantino did a brilliant job starting off this film with this epic music, setting up the tone of what could be like a hero's journey, but then... You know, showing us the gruesome realities because this is history, but it's his, his telling of history. Oops. And I think that right there is what makes him such a sadistic villain. You know, shows what he truly is. Because he definitely could have just wiped them all out. But I think he, he finds such great inner meaning and joy within his passion of, through his career, really. Like, it's warped. <laughs> across 5,000 miles of water, find my way through half of Sicily, and jump out of... I remember when this came out, some of you guys, uh, some, of, some of the people um, didn't like Brad Pitt's accent. I dig it. I like it. I, I know it's, like, exaggerated, but I like it. I think it's a good... A good add-on. Lassen, dass die Ratten von Paris sich an ihnen mästen. Another thing I truly love about Quentin Tarantino's films is that he allows his characters to truly breathe. Like, they have so much time to be a character. So their performances, the camera holds on them, and you're able to really feel it. Ja, mein Führer. Wünschen Sie noch den gefreiten Butz zu sehen? It's very reminiscent of older films. The reason for Hugo Stiglitz's celebrity among German soldiers is simple. As a Hugo is in Wolfenstein. That's why. Dude's, dude's in Wolfenstein. <laughs> Woo! Damn, man. Oh, my God. Quick with it, man. I respectfully refuse. Sir. Hear that? <laughs> this moment is so dope. <laughs> this moment is so dope. Going back to what I was saying about putting fear back into a, uh, a, a, a real thing that is, that is known for its nightmares acts is I think is a brilliant way to flip how people view them on its axis. <laughs> This, this is awesome. I love this scene. This scene is so good. <laughs> like, even though he's trying his best to not show his fear, you can sense that he is fearful. And that is something we don't see a lot just in media when talking about the Nazis. Wow. Oh, my God. Goodness, man. Again, I'm happy that they did not shy away from it because that is that is that is brutal. I love it. <laughs> Je suis française. Non respectons les réalisateurs. <laughs> y compris les Allemands. Y compris les Allemands, oui. That's awesome. Shout out to all my French filmmakers out there. You guys are dope. You guys create some dope work. Warte auf den Führer. Moi, j'attends le Führer. Und den Schützenzoll. Et le soldat Zola. <laughs> Endlich nun gewährt mir der junge Herr Schütze eine Audienz. We're taking a lot of time with kind of just being in her position. Like even the frames, you know, showcase that. And I, I do appreciate that too because I think it really helps us get an idea of just 
how complex it is just on an everyday basis being in her position. <laughs> I call that look the gym, the gym from the the office. <laughs> that look, Jim Halpert. The Emmanuel, voici le colonel SS Landa. Il sera chargé de la sécurité. The way they oh man, dude. I hope that you guys realize that it's been years since I've seen this. Years. So like these things are still hitting me. <laughs> the beats in this film, man. My goodness. The way it's able to just weave information and bring you in and out of a moment and then really strike a moment and then bring you right back in. It's it's dope. I love it. And just like that, she's right back in the hawk's nest. Literally. It's just so much. So much. I love it. Thank you. Yo. So I actually have a book that has like all the foods from different films. So low key, I actually know how to make what they're eating. Have I made it? I'm not going to tell you. You know, it may or may not have been several failed experiments, but. <laughs> Even the mundaneness of eating is just dialed to like a hundred because of just the contents within it. On peut voir en quoi ce peut être un bon métier pour eux. God, Christoph Watts is, is really good. <laughs> He's scary good, man. He's really damn good. Just even just how he's operating, moving the plate and like dissecting his mill. Depends de la prouesse d'un nez. Donc. Like that's all acted. <laughs> L'événement se tiendra effectivement dans votre établissement. I'm pretty sure Christoph Watts does not eat like that. <laughs> to show you how deep he goes into his characters. Wow. Yeah. Completely forgot. Michael F Michael Fassbender is here, man. Like he's in this film. I nearly forgot what his role is, actually. Whiskey, straight, near Jankinit. It says here that you speak German fluently. There's Mike Myers. Wow, I don't know why I didn't recognize him beforehand. That's interesting, dude. That's cool. I dig it. <laughs> I saw his name in the credits. I was like, I don't remember him being in this film. Because these Yanks have been them the devil. You'll be dropped into France. About 24... I love Mike Myers' performance in this. It's really cool. Like, it's really satisfying seeing him do a role like this as weird as that sounds but i mean that in the highest praise for him Eric, merci beaucoup. There's a lot of beautiful beats at play too. The rhythm of just how the scene is able to just flow is just brilliant. It's very, very <laughs> easy to follow, but so deeply layered. Ich schlage vor, dass Sie das Fräulein nicht weiter belästigen und an Ihren Tisch zurückkehren. It's even better when you realize that they're acting within a role that requires them to act out somebody else. <laughs> There's a lot of freaking hurdles to be jumping through when you when you psychologically put yourself there. Woo! Just in the cut. He's just chilling. This dude is just chilling in a separate room. And then tables turn just like that. Oh, man. Wir kennen jeden Deutschen in Frankreich. Jeden, der es wert ist. 
<laughs> God, man, those laughters, bro. <laughs> those laughters are crazy, man. They they just they are they are so like unnerving. <laughs> so, und kleben sie sich vorne an die Stirn. <laughs> the, meanwhile, this dude's just like, bruh, I want to kill. I want to kill. I want to kill. <laughs> Als ich in Amerika ankam, wurde ich da in Ketten zur Schau gestellt. Ja. ja. Bin ich die Geschichte des Negers in Amerika? Nein. Also dann muss ich King Kong sein. Ah. <laughs> Dog crazy, right? Insane. 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 Gefunden habe, müssen sie jetzt alle austreten. I don't know why I just caught that this time around and I didn't catch what was like you know building up to that because i was like yeah that sounds a whole lot like <laughs> slavery ich mag scotch scotch mag mich nicht mm, ich auch nicht ich bleib beim shampoos drei gläser Woo! caught him caught him game over man it's all it taught and we've already known that he's observant. I mean, just the whole setup to this explained that. It, it didn't even explain it. just showed us that. So when he saw that, oh, man, dude, it was like a hawk. Die direkt auf ihre Hoden gerichtet ist. Ja, warum richten sie ihre... It's so interesting that, like, throughout this film, we're starting to notice a lot of the, the, the heightened aspects of the film is around the table. <laughs> It's quite literally around a table. This dude is just. This dude wants to kill this guy. My goodness. Boss. Woo! Oh, man. Dude, this is just straight freaking mayhem, man. Straight mayhem. <laughs> hey, Aldo. Okay, Wilhelm, here's my deal. You let me and one of my men come down there and take the girl away. Also, this actor. Great work, man. Great job, dude. I love how anybody in Quentin Tarantino's film can be a standout. I think that says a lot about the world he builds and to the writing as well, too. That the Nazis being there must look odd. Yeah, we got a word for that kind of odd in English. It's called suspicious. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> He's, I love his accent in this, man. I really do. Dass meine Teilnahme an der Veranstaltung von einiger Bedeutung sein könnte. Fuck a duck. <laughs> 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 That was funny. That's <laughs> locking. Das bringt euch den weiten Weg bis hier raus. God. Man. I, the, the, whenever they do that, I'm quickly reminded of what, what Family Guy does. You know, when Family Guy says something, or like when Peter says something, and then it switches to like, like the actual thing being shown. That's what I get. Uh, <laughs> I get a similar vibe from that. Damn, watching this reminds me. I gotta go and um, get some film developed. I got a whole film. I got several film cameras actually over there. I need to go and get those developed. <laughs> Shout out to any to, to the person who put the audio on that fan. <laughs> I mean, this, this, like, the way the camera's moving throughout this entire scene here is just so well done. It's just so entertaining, you know? The fact that I don't even have to listen to anybody and be entertained, which Quentin Tarantino is very good at, is pretty commendable as well. It's almost as if the camera's a dialogue in itself, you know? Bergstein, dabei haben Sie bald verletzt beim Bergsteigen. Ob Sie es glauben oder nicht. 
I love it here because he knows. He's just in disbelief that she actually said that as an excuse. <laughs> the Enzo girl long. And the talented cameraman Antonio Margheriti and Antonio's <laughs> Coco. <laughs> That's great. That's great, bro. Oh man. Margheriti. Margheriti. And lei? Dominic de Coco. Come here. Dominic de Coco. <laughs> I love how he he was expected to be the least to, to know about Italian, but actually is the best one when it came down to it. That is funny. Dominic de Coco. Trovare. Arrivederci. 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 I love how he sung it, too. He sung it. <laughs> oh, man. It's so it's really rewarding watching Quentin Tarantino films again. I'm starting to pick up like a lot of a lot of funny things that the actors take even further with their characters. Lassen Sie mich Ihren Fuß sehen. Bitte? Legen Sie Ihren Fuß auf meinen Schoß. Hans, Sie bringen mich in Verlegenheit. <laughs> Dude, he is a menace, man. He's a comical menace. And again, he doesn't look intimidating. It's just his mannerisms. It's like he already knows, but he's just toying with you. There's like a sadistic nature in how he gets his information. Which creates this really dark superiority complex between him and whoever he's talking to. <laughs> And this is one of the rare scenes where we actually see an outburst. And I'm not quite sure what led to it. Or maybe this was always in him, but like, I don't know, this contrasted previously. But he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's crazy. He's crazy. Like, it takes a lot of effort to strangle somebody to death. Especially him. What do you mean, the little man? German's nickname for you. The German's nickname for me is the little man. <laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> Surprised how tall you were in real He Christoph Waltz is like the devil who enjoys being human. I don't like I, I hope that's a good way of describing it. OSS would be my guess. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like one of the few times where, we're, well, not even a few times, the first time where we see him kind of just get, like, show his true character. But even then, it just feels out of character because he hides it so well upon the shell of just being a straight goon. <laughs> That is so much, so much film. Oh, man. That thing is going to just spontaneously combust. <laughs> By the way, that Dog. last part's actually true. That's crazy. I don't know. I didn't pick that up. I didn't pick the fact that he did that last time. I don't know why, but I'm just seeing that. I didn't know he did that. Rester ici. Maintenant, allez-vous-en. This guy is the epitome of nice guys finish last. <laughs> he is he is that. <laughs> All the guys who say that but are actually just mad that they got a no. <laughs> Capped him. Capped him. Oh, my goodness, man. She doesn't play. I'm so happy that she's just so focused on the mission. But I know she probably still feels bad. Or not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> she's got a lot of her, her, her life taken away from her. Damn. Damn. 
my goodness. Hey, you went out swinging. You went out swinging. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I forgot she dies. <laughs> I forgot she dies, yo. I'm kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very sad, but. Shut by you. Dude, this is epic, bro. That was so cool. Oh, man. That was so cool. I loved how that was even shot. The fact that it was even shot like that, I think, was so epic. <laughs> oh. Such a cool moment this is, man. This is such a deeply incredible moment right here. Damn, man! Golly, bro! <laughs> you guys see what I mean by a deeply incredible moment? <laughs> People are just getting lit up. I think this is like... God! Oh, man! Just the complete murdering of his corpse right there. Also, this location is gorgeous. I always wanted to know where this was, because that location is absolutely stunning. I'm a slave to appearances. <laughs> like, come on, what were you thinking? So, I'm gonna give you a little something you can't take off. <laughs> oh man, dude. Yup. <laughs> Oh, woo! <laughs> ah, man, that looks crazy. Golly, bro. That looks insane. Good. I'm happy it's happening to him, though. <laughs> All right, everybody. We just got done in Glorious Bastards. Oh, man. Guys, this was really, really, really fun to rewatch and kind of just take a lot more in. You know, I, I took a, a lot more in on this one and i gotta give such high praise to just everyone like i know christoph watts is like the almost like the poster child to this film rightfully so right um but man everybody everybody in this film was just 10 out of 10 there was not a dull moment of of performance or lack thereof a performance or even like you know when you have a force of nature like you know brad pitt and christoph waltz entering the scene or you know even michael fassbender uh they don't overpower all the other parts in fact i think they elevate everyone else's so you 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 have this mosaic scene happening in front of you and there's like you know obviously more, more notable characters or people who are portraying the characters but nothing feels overpowered everything is 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 beautifully equal to one another and that is incredibly hard to do uh, because that is out that's something that is outside of the director's will you know it really does come down to the individual at the end of the day but i think it does help and that Quentin Tarantino is a brilliant writer and that he understands films and he understands character and he's able to construct these these rooms these atmospheres for everybody to tap into and graciously expand themselves um, it's a beautiful thing it really is it's a it's it's a deep sophistication um, I, I definitely love watching just on the screen, but something that I know for the people who are acting or who are working with this body of work feel deeply grateful to be around. You know, it's like being able to push yourself, being able to expand yourself, find new things about yourself. It's a beautiful thing that art can deliver or anything that I think you guys can put your heart and mind to. Uh, for that matter but i think there's a beautiful thing when you can graciously and freely expand and advance and 
improve on your level of art, whether that's acting, filmmaking, uh, anything for that matter. And I think Quentin Tarantino is a brilliant, quote unquote, like playground to operate in that regard. In. And I, I hope to be able to radiate this a similar space as well, too, because um, I, I don't want I don't want the the vibe to be constricted you know everything should be expansive everything should be uh, uh more metamorphosing into something greater and that's what happened here and it's really dope i can tell they had a lot of blast shooting this um behind the scenes or you know just on set and uh man I'm, I'm it's just a lot of themes there's a lot to break down in this i would love to hear what your thoughts are on some of the uh, uh scenes are honestly what, what's your favorite scene um i would definitely say my favorite scene going throughout this <laughs> was i mean it has to come down to that first scene that first showing of of uh of, of christoph watt's character is such a brilliant introduction into i think the world that quentin tarantino has laid out for us uh, and I, yeah i think that scene and everything up is brilliant but that to be the foundational that we start off at i think is just absolutely brilliant so love to hear your thoughts as always guys let me know uh some you know information you guys picked up about the movie or film or anything like that do you agree with some of the things do you not agree with some of the things that i said let me know in the comment section below but like always guys i appreciate y'all and i love y'all stay healthy and stay hydrated because we we're just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches, cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.